Hey, welcome back to Learning Self Reliance. My name is Roland, and today I got a pretty uh, quick video that I wanted to uh, show you guys. I've uh, seen this online, and I've uh, told a couple of people about it. And nobody really uh, knew about it. I, on my last mock bug out, I brought some mylar insulation that I used to uh, for my dog to sleep on, so that it was that she wouldn't get wet, and so that she was insulated from the snowy ground. So this is what I used for that. This is some uh, Reflectix. Uh, mylar bubble wrap insulation. It's basically just like bubble wrap, but with mylar on the side. So this was, this is, uh, uh, I believe it's, uh, it's two feet wide, which is about wide enough for a, a person. I mean, uh, it's got some tape on here that I'm just going to peel that off gently. So compared to me, here's about how wide it is. You can kind of see my shoulders. So it's, it's about as wide as I am. So I'm going to take off the tape on here and I'll kind of give you guys a close up. We'll talk about what this, how useful this stuff is. All right. So you can see on this side here that there's mylar and on the other side, there's also mylar. So it's, double-sided mylar with uh, kind of bubble wrap in the middle. Let me get in close for you guys so you can see that. Probably doesn't show up too well on camera, but you can see the pattern of the bubble wrap here. So the cool thing about this, so the cool thing about this is that it's a cheap uh, uh, sleeping mat. If, you, if, you don't, if you're on a budget and you don't have a whole ton of money, but you want some good insulation, that's waterproof. I highly recommend this. This is going to work really well for you. This was $25 for a 25 foot roll. So it's about a dollar a foot for this stuff. They do sell a little bit shorter because this, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make four mats out of this, this uh, 25 foot roll here, but uh, they do sell a 10 foot roll. So you could probably just buy a 10 foot roll for about 10, 11 bucks, uh, fold it in half and then sleep on uh, two layers of it or something if you'd like. Or you can cut it down to length, however, what size you need. I'm six foot tall, so I need to have uh, a much larger mat. So what I'm going to do is get out my ruler. We're going to do six feet long and cut this off. And uh, then it's done. It's really simple. Got my ruler out here. And all I'm going to do is do two lengths of this. So my ruler here is three feet long. So I'm just going to do two lengths of this. And it's going to be a bit uh, finicky because of how short my table is here. Right about there, mark it like that, roll this back out further, push out to six foot, and you know what, I'm going to do an additional two inches on this, because since this is 25 feet, I want to have these a little bit over six foot, okay, and I'm just going to slice off the edge of this here so I can keep track of where I'm at. The nice thing is, is that the bubble wrap has some nice uh, lines in it already. So I, I sliced it up right here, and it, but I, I can just follow this line that I cut straight on down, and I don't need to, to mark it or anything like that, which is really, really nice and easy. So I've just got my, my Leatherman scissors here, and I'm not doing anything super fancy, trying to get this exactly straight, because it really doesn't matter. So the nice part about this is uh, I'm going to end up with a couple, all right, went a little bit too far on this, but that's okay. I'm going to end up with a couple of these so I can lend them to friends and family when we go camping, you know. If they don't have a good insulation mat, um, they can throw this on on top of it. So if I was going to, uh, uh, somebody else was going to use this, I would say to have your, you, you have some sort of a squishy pad underneath you. You could do a foam pad or, um, or a, uh, you could do like maybe a, a inflatable pool rectangle. There's the long rectangles that you can lay on on the water. You could do that with this, and I think that'd be pretty comfortable. I've never tried that out myself, but that's an idea I've had. So here we go. That's it. This is a six foot two inches, six foot three inches sleeping mat ready to go. And it only costs about $5 for this thing. Um, and again, this is the insulation. It's not doesn't have a whole ton of padding here, but uh, if you combine it with something else like foam, it's going to work really well for you. 
So for winter camping, it's really important to insulate yourself from the ground, and this is a cheap way to do it. One thing I wanted to mention real quick about this uh, insulation here is that since it's bubble wrap, the bubbles themselves are actually locked in. So when you lay down on this, the bubbles, the air doesn't come out of them. They're just, they're, they're each an individual cell. So if you stepped on this, you'd probably be able to pop it. But if you laid down on it gently, I don't think you'd be able to pop it. Um, one thing I forgot to throw in is that if you like hammock camping, which I know a lot of people do, a lot of people are like, you should get a hammock in your bag, but I don't really want it. But this is really good for hammocks because you can cut it to the shape of your hammock and it's a really thin insulation that you can throw onto there and uh, it won't take up tons of room in the, the small amount of room you may have in your hammock. So if you don't want to have a whole huge foam pad inside your hammock, this is a good alternative to uh, insulate your hammock with. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.